decided to, since um, it's a Sunday and I have some time, I'm going to make an actual meal from scratch that I can have for dinner and then also turn into meals slash lunch for the week. Because um, I went shopping um, yesterday for food because I basically had canned beans and hot dogs in my fridge. And although that sounds very luxurious, it isn't. So anyways, um, bought some food and I bought some chicken and I bought some macaroni. So I was, I decided I'm going to make barbecue chicken and macaroni and cheese from scratch. So I'm just going to capture bits and pieces of it for you. Hopefully it's entertaining and hopefully it comes out good. So first things first, I forgot to defrost my chicken slash take it out this morning before I left so I could have some time to defrost. But luckily, I know some defrosting tricks from my friend slash grandma. I let um, the chicken run under some running water for about an hour to help move the defrosting process along. Another thing you can do if you don't have an hour, you just need it done quickly. You can also pop it in a microwave to defrost. If you want to defrost your meats quicker, because actually, if it's like you, after you once you wash it, clean it, you can season it up, and that also helps um, defrost it. Because I guess the seasoning kind of acts like a salt. Some chemistry is involved there, and it basically heats it up, breaks down the frozen molecules or something. I'm making this up slightly, um, but yeah, so now after running it under water, I'm seasoning it up with my basic seasonings, and this is not, I'm not following a recipe really for the chicken by any means, it's just like stuff that I picked up from my grandma, and hopefully it turns out good. And these are the basic seasonings that I always use when I season my meats, because they're just what I grew up on, and they taste good, so using some basic flowery season salt and we got some black pepper, it doesn't have to be McCormick any kind then we also have the onion powder we got a little accent and then some garlic powder then you can always throw some parsley flakes on that if you want to because I just really love parsley flakes something my grandma got started doing and I just like to do it um, so yeah, right now I'm just seasoning up the chicken Threw on some seasoned salt, and I'm going to throw on the pepper the, and all the other seasonings you saw. Um, there's no particular order in how I put it on, and there's no particular um, measuring system I use. It's just what I think looks good. So I'll show you the okay, end so part. So I just finished seasoning up my chicken, and this is what the seasoned chicken looks like. It's very basic. Um, again, I don't use any real measurements. I just kind of go off what I feel is right based on the amount of meat that's there and how much I like my meat to taste. My chickens, whatever it is. Um, and just a thing, like accent, I, even though I said I don't use your me measurement accent, I just use a dash of that because it's an accent. You don't need a whole bunch of that. And then like depending on what kind of meat you're making, what kind of meal you're making, and what kind of flavors you want, like for the onion and garlic powder specifically, I like... Since this is mac and cheese, I don't want a too much overwhelming oniony or garlicky taste, at least for since I'm making barbecue chicken. So I only put a little bit of garlic and onion powder on it, but like if I was making meatballs, I would probably put a little bit more because I want those flavors to be in like my spaghetti if I'm making spaghetti. And I think just meatballs taste better like that, even if it's turkey or ground beef. I just like to add a little bit more onion, and if you can, chop up some raw onion in it because that tastes good in a meatball. Um, so yeah, and then you can never really, in my opinion, overdo it with the pepper. Um, just to bring out the flavors and also because like I don't really use a lot of I try to steer away from using too much seasoning so pepper is always a way like to counterbalance if I feel like I use a little bit too much season salt because I don't like my food to taste salty either and I don't think I use too much considering how much meat is here um, but we will see when the final product is done so right now I'm just gonna let that kind of like sit in the seasoning soak it up for a bit and then I'll be back to um, marinate and bake it because I'm going to bake this barbecue chicken. I'm going to marinate it with some barbecue sauce and bake it. Yeah. So let's hope that what I just sprinkled on makes it taste good and not terrible. On to step two. These are the ingredients. So well, I'm missing one. These are the ingredients I'm going to use for the mac and cheese and the chicken. So I have this Parmesan cheese 
grated cheese from Trader Joe's. I was going to buy the fresh one, but then I decided not to because I was like, maybe this will last longer than the freshly grated one. I don't know if it would have tasted better, but oh well. Then I got these um, panko breadcrumbs. They're Japanese style, which, but the, the thing said it was also good for mac and cheese, even though there's a picture of chicken on it. It also was cheaper than the other, like, organic breadcrumbs. I didn't really know the difference, so I just got this, since the sign said it could be used for mac and cheese. Then I have some all-purpose flour. That the recipe said you need some. I got the elbow macaroni, which I'm currently boiling water to cook. And then that's the stove that I just preheated, telling me it's all nice and heated. And I have this barbecue sauce from Trader Joe's to try. It's a smoky sweet with just the right amount of kick, so I hope it's good barbecue sauce. And yeah, these are the ingredients for my next step, minus my block of cheese that's somewhere in this fridge and this milk is also needed but I'm gonna leave it in the fridge until it is time because it's gonna get a little sour out in this heat and then this this poor, whoops this block of cheese it's grass-fed New Zealand sharp cheddar I like cheddar and it said sharp cheddar and I don't know what the difference is that it since it's from New Zealand but I'm gonna chop some of that up so yeah We'll move on. I'll show you what's what looks like what after this is done. Okay, so on to the next step. Um, took out the stuff and started chopping up the cheese for the the cheese sauce, and then I boiled my noodles. There's I have to stir it up a little bit before it gets stuck to the pan, and I also barbecued up my chicken. And the stove is preheated, so now I'm going to pop the chicken in the stove. Um, I'm going to stir the noodles, and then I'm going to move on to the cheese sauce. And I'll try and capture as much of this as possible, but it's really hard to capture this when you don't have, like, a camera stand. Because you can't hold the f your camera and cook at the same time. It's just not going to work. Okay, so I've been making the cheese sauce for what seems like eternity. Um, here's what it looks like right now. And then I have the macaroni in the pan. So I'm just going to keep stirring that for a little bit longer until I think it's thick enough and then I'll pour it in with the macaroni and hopefully it's not too cheesy or not cheesy enough. That's the line I'm trying to walk but we'll see. I am following a recipe for the macaroni and for the cheese sauce and stuff but you know I'm kind of adjusting a little bit like adding things that I feel like I would want and taking away things I don't have slash I feel like it's not super necessary to the recipe. Um, so yeah that's that and I should be pouring that over the macaroni soon. Then I have my chicken cooking in there. I don't know if you could have could see that, but I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. But yeah, so now I'm just finishing that up. Sorry I didn't show you the whole cheese sauce process, but it's too in depth for me to like film because it required like butter, flour, milk, chopping cheese, different cheeses, stirring it at different points, and I just I couldn't film that and cook it because I know I would have messed it up. Hopefully I didn't mess it up while not filming, but we will see. We will see how this all looks and how it all tastes, because it could look really nice and taste like garbage, or it could look bad and taste good, so we will see. Okay, cut to two hours later. Um, it's literally, I feel like it's been two hours. Um, this is what it looks like right now. Here's the mac and cheese, and here is the chicken. Pretty sure the chicken's done because the chicken's basically been in the oven since I started the mac and cheese, and the mac and cheese has been in there for about close to 30 minutes. I think it's been 30 minutes. I'll probably let the mac and cheese sit in there a little bit longer, but I'm going to take out the chicken before I dry it out too much. I like my things a little overcooked, but I don't want to let that dry out because I know that's been cooking for a while. So I will take it all out of the stove once everything, well, take the chicken out now. But when everything is ready out of the stove, I'll do another little quick view of it, and then I will let you know how it tasted. Okay, so I just finished everything, and this is the final product. The mac and cheese and the chicken and I'm going to eat it and I hope it tastes good that's the main thing because then after all that effort and money spent on ingredients I'll be really sad so yeah okay so here it is right here this is the dinner I'm going to eat it should I take a film of me eating it Not 
my best. I would say A plus for effort and B plus for taste. Next time I'm just a little cheesier, but it's just the first bite, who knows. But yeah, hope you liked my whole cooking process. And if I could, I would send you some mac and cheese because I have a huge tray. Um, but yeah, subscribe, comment, like, rate, do all that fun stuff. And let me know if you want to know how I made my stuff. Because since I wasn't very like specific, but I'd be happy to share more stuff with you guys. <laughs>